Hello guys, um, in this video we are going to be discussing term 4 scope for mathematics grade 8. So we are going to be discussing term 4 scope for mathematics grade 8. As we can see guys, we can see that the year is almost over and term 4 is very short. And we can see here that our first job topic or what we are going to be doing first, we will be focusing on graphs, right? We will be focusing on graph. And on graphs, we, there are different elements that we need to understand. So we can see that we will be interpreting, interpreting graphs. So this basically means that we need to learn and understand how to, how to interpret graphs. Okay, and then we can see here that we will analyze and interpret global graphs of problem situations with special focus on the following trend Futures. So the special focus will be on linear and nonlinear, and then will also be on constant, increasing or decreasing, meaning that you need to be able to identify an, a constant graph, as well as an increasing graph, as well as a decreasing graph. And you also need to distinguish between maximum and minimum. We also need to understand the difference between discrete and continuous. Okay, so these are the elements that are used. These are the elements that are used when interpreting graphs. And then after interpreting graphs, we will then be drawing graphs. We will then be drawing graphs. Okay, and then here we can see that we have to draw the um, global graphs from given descriptions of a problem situation identifying futures listed above and we also need to use tables or ordered pairs to plot points and draw graphs on the Cartesian plane so what do they mean by this last point they mean that we can we also need to understand that if we are given a table like this if we are given a table like this so we have x and then we have y and then we are given points say 1 and negative 2 and then maybe 0 and 1 and then let's say 2 and 3 and then let's say maybe um, 4 And four. So if we are given a points, these are called ordered pairs. So if we are given these ordered pairs, it means that we need to be able to draw our graph. And don't forget, guys, you need to be able to understand that this is our y axis, and then this is our x axis. And then to find out more about that, we do have extra classes for grade eight mathematics. So we do have extra classes for mathematics, grade eight. And if you want to join, you can just send a message on the number that you are seeing on the screen. Okay. And then once we are done with graphs, we will then move to theorem of Pythagoras. We will then move to theorem of Pythagoras. And then here, we will develop and use the theorem of Pythagoras. So we will develop and also use the, the theorem of Pythagoras. So here we will investigate the relationship between the length of the sides of a right angled triangle to develop the theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, and then we will also determine whether a triangle is right angled triangle or not. If the length of the three sides of the triangle is, is known. Okay, and then we will also use the theorem of Pythagoras to calculate the missing length in a right angle triangle, leaving irrational answers in sad form. Okay, so we will go into detail in our extra classes. So if you want to learn all this, you can join our extra classes and they are very cheap guys. Our extra classes are only 80 rands per month. So if you want to join, you can just send a message on the number that you are seeing on the screen. Okay, and then lastly, we will learn about the area and the perimeter of a 2D 
shapes. So here we'll learn about the area and the perimeter. Okay, and then we will use appropriate formulae to calculate perimeter and the area of circles. So we'll use an appropriate formula to calculate both the perimeter and the and the area. Okay, and then we will also calculate the areas of a polygons to at least two decimal places by decomposing them into rectangles and or triangles. Okay, and then we will also use and describe the relationship between the radius, the area of a circle in calculations. So we will <coughs> also describe the relationship between the radius and the area of a circle in calculations. Okay, and then after that, we will then calculate and solve problems. So here we will solve problems with or without a calculator. These problems involves perimeter and area of A, polygons and circles to at least two decimal places. So the final answer that we get needs to be rounded off to two decimal places. And once we are done with that, we will then move to our revision. Once we are done with that, we will then move to our revision. So our revision will focus on term three work and term four work. So our revision will then be based on term three and term four. Okay. So that brings us to the end of our topics that we are going to be learning in term four. Don't forget guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel so that when we upload, you are the first to be notified. And those who want to join our extra classes, you can tell your parents that there is an extra class for mathematics so that they can pay for you. So it's only 80 rands per month. It's only 80 rand per month. And you attend two times in a week. Okay. So... Yeah, this brings us to the end of our class. Don't forget, guys, to like the video and also subscribe.